an acid attack survivor who was left with burns to her face, and only 20% of her eyesight at just 15 years old following a rejected married proposal has tied the knot with the man she met in hospital while recovering. Premadini Rao, 28 found love 13 years later, and married Saraj Sahu, 29, on March 1 in her hometown Jagat Simpa, Odisha, after first meeting in 2018. Saraj's friend was a nurse, and would regularly visit the hospital that Bray Pramadini was being treated, and the pair quickly fell in love. Saraj Sahu, 29 as well as the facial burns and loss of eyesight, Premadini was also left bored by the attack. But that didn't stop her from enjoying the best day of her life this month with more than 1,000 guests, including other acid attack survivors. Premadini, who wore a wick on her wedding day, said, I feel so blessed to be married to Saraj, it's an amazing feeling. We had so many guests at our wedding to celebrate our special day with us. The couple were engaged in 2018 and had plans to marry in April 2020, but the pandemic outbreak last year delayed their plans. Premadini said, After visiting the hospital on and off during my recovery in 2018 we fell in love and he gave up his job to help care for me. A lot of people were surprised that he would want to marry me, but we fell in love and our families did come around to the idea. Pramadini was just 15 years old when she was doused in acid something she claims happened due to a rejected marriage proposal. The attack caused severe burns to her face and blinded her in both eyes. But after suffering with pain for almost a decade and undergoing five reconstructive surgeries including one to correct vision in her left eye, she met the love of her life in hospital. Premadini added, After meeting in hospital we lived together in New Delhi at first before contemplating on getting married in two years. The first time it seemed Saraj was this September, when I had undergone the first surgery and left eye, but I had fallen for his charms. He loves me like the way I am. He always encourages me to live life happily. The two now work for rehabilitation of acid attack survivors in Odisha through Chon Foundation, an NGO that works for acid attack survivors in the country.